Good morning and welcome to Online Storytime with the Pluto Public Library. My name is Miss Amanda and I'm one of the librarians here. Today we're going to sing some songs and read some books. And don't forget that just like in-person story time, online story time is meant to be enjoyed by kids and grown-ups together. So cuddle up and let's get started by singing The More We Get Together. The more we get together to about an animal and I brought some pictures to try to help us guess what animal we're going to read about. Now our first clue is that this animal is nocturnal. So all the animals that I brought pictures of are nocturnal. We have a fox, a bat, and an owl. Now our next clue is that this animal can fly. So let's look at our animals and see which ones can fly. Can an owl fly? Yes he can. Can a bat fly? That's right, a bat can fly. He has wings. What about a fox? Can a fox fly? No, foxes can't fly, so we'll take him away. Let's see. Our next hint is that the animal we're going to read about is a mammal. That means that this animal has fur instead of feathers. So let's look at these two animals and see if they have fur or feathers. Does an owl have fur or does he have feathers? If you said feathers, that's right. So he can't be a mammal. Let's take him away. And who are we left with? We're left with Mr. Bat. He is a nocturnal creature, so that means he sleeps during the day and he stays up all night. He can fly because he has wings and he's a mammal because he has fur. Let's get started with our first song. We're gonna get started singing a song about some sleeping bats first. So let's get ready. Now bats sleep hanging upside down. So our little friend is gonna hang upside down. Bats are sleeping, bats are sleeping, upside down, upside down. Sleeping in the morning sun, waiting for the night to come. Then they'll fly around, then they'll fly around. Good job. Now let's sing it one more time together now that you've learned it. Here we go. Let's put our little bats upside down. Here we go. Bats are sleeping, bats are sleeping, upside down, upside down. Sleeping in the morning sun, waiting for the night to come. Then they'll fly around, then they'll fly around. Good job. Goodbye, Mr. Bat. For our book that we're going to read today, we're going to enjoy Hedgehugs. Autumn Hide and Squeak. This book is written by Steve Wilson and Lucy Tapper. And I'm very excited to get to share this book with you with thanks to Macmillan, the publisher, for letting us read this. Let's get started. Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends. There are so many things they like to do together. They like to make funny shadows as the sun comes up. Here they are with their shadows. One, two shadows. They like to follow shiny snail trails and catch dewdrops from leaves. Let's see if we can follow the snail trail. We'll start here and go all around. Loop de loop and all around and up and over and oh, there's the snail. <laughs> and after a rain, they like to spot sparkling spider webs. When Horace is busy, 
Hattie likes to decorate her nest. When Hattie is busy, Horace likes to practice his music. One windy autumn day, the sky was filled with leaves falling from the trees. It was pretty, but Hattie felt sad that the branches would soon be empty. Have you all seen any leaves starting to fall from the trees yet? First they turn pretty colors, orange and red and yellow, and then they start to fall down. Horace didn't want Hattie to be sad. He gathered up as many leaves as he could and was trying to put them back on the tree when suddenly something squeaked. Can you guys give me a little squeak? Let's hear a little squeak. Squeak, squeak. Good job. Now what kind of animal do you think it is that gave that little squeak? A mouse? It can't be a mouse because he's hanging upside in this tree. I think it must be a bat. Horace and Hattie leaped with surprise. They landed in a pile of leaves. The squeaky thing thought it was a game. He loved to play hide and seek. Horace and Hattie loved to play games too. They were experts at hiding. And seeking. First, Horace and Hattie searched for their new friend in the blackberry bushes. When they found him hidden in a tangle of brambles, he squeaked with joy. It took the squeaky thing a long time to spot his friends among the seed pods. Let's see if you can spot Hattie and the horse in the seed pods. Hmm, I bet if you look for the flower in Hattie's hair, that will help. There she is! And there's Horace. Horace and Hattie knew the squeaky thing was hidden somewhere beneath the toadstools and mushrooms. Squeak! At last they found him. The three friends giggled. It was so much fun to play hide and squeak. Horace had one last hiding place. He'd spied a secret spot. Hattie hunted. The squeaky thing searched. They looked and looked. Horace waited and waited. Do you see him? I don't see him either. Surprise! Horace popped out of a pumpkin. The other two squealed in fright and delight. When the last leaf fell from the tree, it was time for the squeaky thing to return to his family. Hattie felt sad again. Horace had an idea. He whispered to their new little friend. And the tree came alive with colorful leaves, laughter, and lots of squeaky new friends. And now all of the squeaky new friends are holding the leaves in the trees for Hattie. Isn't that sweet? And that is the end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that book you read. And if you did like it, you can put it on reserve in the library catalog so you can pick it up curbside here. Now, we're gonna sing a song next that I love because we get to make up silly rhymes with people's names. We're gonna sing Willoughby Wallaby Woo. And normally during story time, I get to ask some of your names and use your names in the song. But since you're not here with me today in the library, I brought some friends with me that you probably recognize from the checkout desk. I have Miss Sylvia, Miss Carson, and Miss Joan. So we're gonna use their names today. But at home, when you sing this during the week, I hope you try it out with your names and with your mom's and dad's names too. All right, here we go.
fun with that song. When you sing it at home, all you have to do is change the first sound in the name to a W. So instead of Jesse, you would say Wessie. And instead of Amanda, you would say Wamanda. <laughs> Have fun. Now I brought a couple of extra bat books for us today that I'm gonna show you so that you can hop over to the library catalog and put them on reserve. This book is one of my favorites. It is so funny. It's called I Am Bat by Morag Hood. And this book is about bat. And he is obsessed with cherries, but you know what he's not very good at? He's not very good at sharing. So you're gonna have to check this out and see if he gets better at sharing or maybe he doesn't. The other book that I brought is called Bats at the Library by Brian Lies. What do you think this book is about? <laughs> That's right. This book is about bats at the library, which I'm very glad to tell you, we don't have any bats in our library here. But if you wanna hear about this story, make sure to put it on reserve. Thank you so much for joining me today for online story time. I hope you'll join us again next week, but let's sing goodbye. Here we go. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you soon. On another day. See you soon. <laughs>